Hello friends, welcome back to my YouTube channel Lock Your Learning. In this video, we are going to solve ICSE Mathematics Class 7 Chapter 18 Percentage and its Applications Exercise 18 G Question Number 3. Right? And what does this say? Sameer lent equal sums of money at 5 whole 1 by 2% and 4% respectively for a period of 3 years. If he learned rupees 72 more for the money lent out at 5%, right? This is lent out right so lent out at five percent five whole one by two percent find the sum of money at four percent lent out at four percent now two different rates are given one is five uh, five whole one by two percent and other is four percent and both of these rates are applied on the same sum that is we do not know that we can assume x fine so first of all let the sum of money be rupees x right this is our sum of money now we have to find this only the value of x now understand this it says Samir lent equal sums of money at two different rates right so the money was same in both of the cases suppose he has 1000 so he lent 1000 at 5 whole 1 by 2 percent and he lent another 1000 at 4% but separately right so 1000 at 5 whole 1 by 2 1000 at 4% this is what he lent then it says that uh, the time given is 3 years so the time is also same for both of the sums of money that is 3 years then it says now here you need to understand it says if he earned 72 more interest on uh, the money lent out at 5 whole 1 by 2% now we know that the sum which will have larger rate of interest will yield more interest. Suppose one has here, one has 4%, the other has 5 whole 1 by 2%. So interest will be more on which sum? The one at 4% or 5 whole 1 by 2%? Very clearly it's 5 whole 1 by 2%. So of course it's given here, the value also is given. That is the money that he earns more. That is he earns 72 more interest from 5 whole 1 by 2 percent when compared to the interest on 4 percent. Now you need to first find the simple interest on both of the rates separately. One will be on 5 whole 1 by 2 percent, the other will be on 4 percent, right? So uh, the rate becomes uh, 2 to 11 upon 2 percent per annum, right? Time is already given 3 years and principal is x. So find the SI that becomes PRT upon 100 and uh, that means 3 into X into 11 upon 2 upon 100, right? So you can solve this up, right? What will happen is 3 into X becomes 3X, 3X into 11 becomes 33X and in denominator we have 2 and here also in the denominator we have 100. So this becomes 2 into 100 that is 200. So this becomes what? Let me show you. So basically this becomes 33x in the numerator upon 200, uh, right? Just 2, don't put 20 here, right? So it will be just 2 and then into 1 upon 100, right? This 100 will come here, so it will be reciprocated and solve this up. We get 33x upon 200, right? So this is our simple interest on the first sum which was lent out at what? 5 whole 1 by 2 percent. Now, now we will find simple interest on 4 percent, right? So the sum that was lent out at 4 percent. Now on this sum, we will find the simple interest. See, again, they will be taken out separately, but only thing that will be different is the rate of interest. Rest everything, the rate, the time, sorry, not the rate, the time and the principal will be the same only. So time will be same, that will be 3 years. Principal will be x, rupees x or x, whatever you want to write. And now rate changes to 4%. So find the SI, that will be 4 into x into 3 upon 100. Cancel this 1, cancel this 25. 100 goes 25 times by 4, right? So we have here x into 3, 3x, 
upon 25. This becomes our interest on the second one that is at 4% interest. Now again two interest these are the two interest that we have found out right. One is 33x upon one, uh, 200 and the other is 3x upon 25. Now understand this says earns 72 more for the money lent out at this much. So this much money this much interest right this much interest is 72 rupees more than this interest. Why? Because this is coming from a higher rate of interest whereas this interest is coming from a lower rate of interest. So of course this will have more value. So 33x upon 200 right this is 72 more than this interest. So we can do minus 3x upon 25 here right and that is already given 72 more so equals to 72 there that means their difference will be rupees 72 you can say that as well now solve this equation right just like we do so 25 and 200 lcm becomes again 200 only so this 33x will stay as it is minus 25 8s are becomes 200 right so th 3 into 8 becomes 24 and x will be as it is equals to 72 and solve this 33x minus 24x becomes 9x so 9x upon 200 equals to 72 and solve this again this entire fraction will be taken to this side or you can take it one by one as well I'll take it one by one only right into 200 right this 200 is dividing here it will come here it will multiply and 9x so again 9 into x multiplying right so 9 will come this side so it will divide so 72 into 200 will stay as it is now upon 9 simply divided by 9 now solve this 9 1 times 8 uh, and 72 goes 8 times right so this becomes what uh, sorry right this becomes 8 x into x equals to now 8 to the 16 right so uh, 8 into 2 1600 right so 1600 becomes your sum of money right and it says that he lent out equal sums of money and it is asking the sum of money lent at 4% so this x was what sum of money bx so our answer has already been taken out that is 1600 right so you can say that your sum of money becomes what rupees 1600 and this answer will not vary if it asks sum of money at 5 or 1 by 2 percent then also your answer will be 1600 only because again both the sums of money are equal right and friends this is all for today if you are new to my youtube channel do not forget to subscribe and leave a like on this one take good care of yourselves and bye bye